Hello and welcome to another Love Words video. Today's video is all about Christian movies that are based on true stories. The first movie on our list today is I'm Not Ashamed. I'm Not Ashamed is the true story of Rachel Joy Scott, the first student that was killed in the Columbine High School shooting on the 20th of April 1999. America and the world mourns as the biggest school shooting in U.S. history took place today at Columbine High School. The second movie on our list today is The Case for Christ. The Case for Christ is my all-time best Christian movie. The movie is all about Liz Trubel, an investigative journalist and self-proclaimed atheist, set out to disprove the existence of God after his wife became a Christian. The next movie on our list today is Faith Under Fire. On the day that Antoinette Toff considered suicide, she realized that all her challenges had prepared her for a purpose, to save an Atlanta school under siege from a deranged killer bent on murdering all the students. Awesome. So shut your eyes as mother sings. You don't have to do this, son. Of the wonderful sights that be. And the next movie is Hacksaw. Hacksaw tells the story of World War II American Army medic Desmond T. Dawes, who served during the Battle of Okinawa. He refuses to kill people and became the first American in history to receive the Medal of Honor without firing a shot. Born to Win is the next movie. Born to Win is a true story of how God turns the heart frustration and emptiness of a man into hope, faith and victory to inspire many to be the winners they were born to be. Your daughter's critical, but it's there. She might have permanent brain damage. I'm sorry, I don't have better news. I don't need you tomorrow, God. I need you now. I need you now! The next movie of these faith-based true life stories is The Passion of Christ. The Passion of Christ is the true life story of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. The Passion of Christ depicts the final 12 hours in the life of Jesus of Nazareth on the day of his crucifixion in Jerusalem. I'm sure this should be one of the most famous Christian movies in history. Next on our list is The Father of Light. In The Father of Light, Darren Wilson cuts through religious misconceptions in an effort to find the true nature and character of God through filming incredible spiritual encounters around the world. Next on our list is The Sacred Vow. Sacred Vow is the story of a married couple. After a brief affair by the husband, he decides to get back to his faithful wife. But will it be too late? Find out in the movie. She never wavered from the vow she made to me on our wedding day. I wish I could say the same. I need you to sign the divorce papers. I'm saying that I never loved you. This was a mistake, a, a sick addiction. I'm always gonna to have to live with the guilt of what I've done to my family and the shame of what I've put them through. I love you, Amber. Next is The Greater Years. A Greater Years is the story of Amy Newhouse, a six-year-old girl whose faith in God proves stronger than the cancer killing her. The next faith-based movie based on true life story is The Blind Side. The Blind Side is the story of Michael Oha, a homeless and traumatized boy who became an all-time football player and first-round NFL draft pick with the help of a caring mother and her family. Who is that, Esther? Big Mike! Do you have any place to stay tonight? Come on. Ciao. Everyone, thank your mother for driving to the store and getting this. Thank you, Mom. Thank you, Mama. Until Michael showed up, and the family's now complete. You know, the first time I spent the night at the house, um, you know, I felt like that's where I was supposed to be, and, you know, they made me feel at home. You know, Michael moved in to live with us full time, and uh, it had a, probably a much greater impact on our lives than we, you know, did on, on his life. Next on our list is Undaunted. Undaunted is the story of the early life of Josh McDowell. Josh McDowell, 
tells the story of his life and hardships through drunk parents, sexual abuse, and how he found Christ despite the troubles. The next movie is The Way Home. The Way Home is an inspirational true story about how a rural community rallies around a distraught family to search for their missing two-year-old boy and through doing so, changed the lives of many of those involved. Please God, give me some kind of a sign that my son is not dead. I'm Joy from the church in Whitesburg. We've come to help find your boy. What if I never see him again? Last but not the least is Miracle from Heaven. Miracle from Heaven is the story of a 10 year old girl, Anna, who has a rare incurable disease with her parents desperate for a solution. After Anna had a freak accident, an extraordinary miracle unfolds in the wake of a dramatic rescue that leaves medical specialists mystified, her family restored, and their community inspired. That's it on this episode. Thank you for watching. I hope you found some interesting movies you would like to watch after this. I will leave some links below to the full movies. I personally recommend The Case for Christ if you've not seen it yet. Leave your comment in the comment section below and don't forget to subscribe. See you in the next video. Enjoy.